Morning, everyone. Everyone jumping in now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you've got your resistance band. Make sure you've got your resistance band, uh, drink bottle. Uh, if you've got a foam roller, fantastic. If not, don't stress. We're going to get straight into it. So we're going to do our mobility to begin with. Let me just spotlight my camera here quickly. Guys, stay on mute. If you've got any questions, though, uh, feel free to turn uh, your microphone on and uh, just shout out any questions. Alternatively, you can type them into the chat if you want. I'm in the shed today, so I apologize if the sounds a little echoey. I just finished off the workout myself. So let's grab our foam roller, as per usual, start our, uh, start our mobility. Okay, so again, I'm using my foam roller as a bit of a guide here for my ankle mobility. I'll just bring up the uh, display so I can see everyone. Morning, everyone. All right, so ankle mobility. We've got our foam roller. You can use a couch, you can use a chair, whatever you want as a bit of a guide. I'm going with my big toe about 10 centimeters back from the roller. Once Luna gets out of the way, you'll be able to see a little bit better. Yep, there she is. And I'm keeping my heel down. So I'm in this lunge position. All right, how we start our lunges. And then I'm just pushing my knee towards that foam roller there. So leaning my body weight forward, getting that nice sharp shin angle. Okay, so my shin's at about a 45 degree angle and I should feel a stretch down the back of my calf here, in the lower part of my calf. All right, you're just gonna come back, ease off, come forward again. You can do this standing. If you prefer to do it standing, I can see if you'll be doing it standing, that's fine as well. Just make sure you've got something, a wall or something in front of you as a bit of a guide, it's always a good one. Swapping legs. So Sam, again, Sam Shinsky, he's in here. He's a couple of moves in front of you guys because he's got to get to school a bit earlier. We start about five, 10 minutes earlier. So if you hear him speak at some point, that's why he's, he's wondering where he's up to. We're going through our power session today. Okay, so we're going to swap it back to our plyo session. Um, I want to do the plyos as the get up and go session first thing in the morning would be nice and fresh. I think it's the better start to the day. Um, jump up once you've done your calf, lower calf stretches, mobility. We're going to do our Spider-Man squats. So we're going to do our power sessions, so our plyometrics, jumping, landing, deceleration, acceleration stuff. And then we've got a Tuesday night session and a Thursday night at 6 p.m. Okay, so both of those sessions will have a bit of a strength focus. So we've got the two sessions now, um, so we can really focus in on the, the technique of those movements. How are you going there, Sam? You look like you're waiting for something. Good, yeah, I finished the... Um, so I did two sets... Of two four, sets of four. Then, basically, yeah. Because I did uh, two, like four, four on each leg. So, like four, 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 four. So, basically, 16. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You did a bit extra. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's fine. So, now you've got a squat jump or a box jump. If you've got a box, you can jump up to a box or jump up to a step. Otherwise, it's just a squat jump. Everyone else is on me. We're doing our squat mobility. So, our Spider Man squat. So, again, we bend at the hips. So we get a little bit of a hamstring stretch just quickly, then we're bending our knees and we're wrapping our fingers just gently under our toes. Okay, we're coming right down into that low squat with wide knees, all right? So I'm using my elbows, I'm applying gentle pressure on the inside of my knees, I'm just stretching out my groin a little bit, my hips now, and I should feel this a little bit in my lower back nice and early in the morning. All right, I'm gonna keep my left hand under my left foot and I'm just going to rotate and twist right arm up to the sky or the roof. And just a couple of deep breaths, deep breathing. And then back down, my right hand, I just, just pinch that under my front, my, uh, my, my, my right foot again, just the, the front toes. And then I'm just twisting again up to my left. So I'm again, I'm applying pressure with the inside of my... Uh, Sorry, my, my, my right elbow, the inside of my right leg. I'm just twisting and rotating through my lower and upper back here, looking up at the roof. Two deep breaths. All right, jump up, shake it out, grab your mini band. All right, if you've got a mat, you should be able to get the mat out of the way now. Grab your mini band and we're gonna go into our crab walks. All right, so we're into our, our glute activation. We're going to do our crab walks and our mini band circuit. So mini band circuit, so again, 
I've got a little less space laterally today because I'm in the shed, but we're just bending our knees, okay, staying down nice and low. I don't want to see any upright postures here. All right, most of this now, everything really is knees bent, hips bent, and we're just five to our right, staying low. Four, five, I can just squeeze it in. Five, back to our left. We're going to do 10 total, so two sets of that. All done, Sammy? Yep, did two, two times four again, so. Four big squat jumps, good job. I think, uh, so people look at what's next. I think it's broad jumps. So we're going outwards now. All right. Everyone else, keep doing your crab walks. Sammy, you are on to, yeah, broad jumps, mate. So you've got two okay. sets of four again. Broad jumps is your horizontal explosive movement. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Everyone uh, else? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so we're jumping. So we're here. We swing back and out. Oh, jump yeah. Forward. Oh, okay. So you're jumping far forward, as far forward as you can. That's a broad jump. All right, All right cool. We still have our bands around our ankles. All right, we're into our jab step with our right foot. So I'm at a 45 degree angle, so I'm not jabbing straight forward at the camera like that. I'm jabbing as if I'm attacking a defender's feet. All right, so if you can imagine a defender here, see my little dumbbells. There's my defender's feet. He's down low, nice and wide. All right, and I'm just jabbing at that outside foot. So I'm getting enough distance, not to put myself off balance, not to put myself off balance, but just enough distance to really work that hip flexor help us get nice and sharp and quick in that movement. Well, let's go 10 on each leg. Okay, so we're going 10 to our right, come back and then jab to our left. Rip and make that ball movement if you want to. So rip from hip to hip, boom, boom. Rip across your body. And then we're gonna do, then we're gonna do our uh, donkey, sort of our donkey kicks. So make sure this stays as a basketball sort of movement. Okay, jab step, it's not a dance move. I don't wanna see people standing upright. And just kind of line dancing here, stepping their foot out. Okay, it's better than nothing, but we're not here for better than nothing. We're here for better than most. All right? So we're jabbing here, we stay nice and low. If I'm on my side here, you can see I'm sharp. Yeah, my back's straight, I'm down low, I'm attacking. Okay? Once we've done 10 on either leg, now we're kicking back. Okay, so now we're kicking back. So again, we stay low, my hips are bent, my knees are bent, and I'm kicking that right leg straight back. Kick it straight back, so I'm feeling that. I should be feeling that a little bit in my right glute. 10 on each leg. Kick back, kick back, kick back. All right, we've got 10 on each leg. So we're kicking back against that resistance of the band. The band should be around our ankles. Kicking back. Now I'm on my left leg. Left leg kicking back. All done, Sam? Did, um, yeah. So you've got skater jumps. So 45 yeah, jumps. Okay, cool. jumps. Uh, two sets, two sets of four, I think. Just have a quick look. Again, everyone else keep going. Once you've done your kickbacks, band off. Grab, grab a quick drink and we're gonna get into our deceleration acceleration. So Sammy, you have skater jumps. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go, we'll go two sets of eight. Okay, so four on each leg, two sets of eight, four okay. on each leg. Up to you whether you want to do it with the stick or not. If you want to do it with the stick, yeah. so jumping out, stick the landing, maybe do one set like that and then do one set more explosive. So pop, pop, pop. Okay. All right, everyone else, yeah. we're going to do acceleration, deceleration. So, okay, we're into week two of our second block, so we're going to do we're gonna do a few more reps today. So today for our deceleration acceleration, we've got two sets of six on each leg. So what that looks like, again, if I can get from the side here, is I've got my right leg back and I'm on the ball of my right foot. So I'm up on my, my ball of my right foot ready to take off. And I got my right arm forward here and I got my left arm back. As I push off into that right foot, so that right leg extends. I swing my left arm through and my right arm back and I take off with that right foot. So as I swing that right foot through, try and get a nice long stride, I swing my left arm through to propel me forward. 
You're going to do three on your right foot, three on your left foot. Okay? We're going to have a break and then do a second set. So here's what it looks like. I don't have a lot of space laterally here. Okay, but if I'm closing out my foam roller here, I've got a right leg back, right arm forward. I swing through as I do one. One or two big steps. You don't need a lot of space for this one. Because acceleration, you don't have a lot of space. You've just got to take off quickly. So it's more about that first step. That first step we're focusing on here. We're focusing on that first step and that sprint technique. Okay, that's three. You can come to a pitter patter, close out if you like. I'm doing three on my left leg, then I'm going to watch you guys for the second set. So really focus on exploding out of those blocks. Explode out of the blocks. Come to a quick stop. I'm all done, Jared. Done, mate? Yeah. Done. All right, you got skipping to finish off. Skipping cool. to finish off. So if you're inside and you can't get the skipping rope out, that's fine. We're going to go four sets of 60 seconds today. So chuck that's 60 easy. on the yeah. clock. If you don't have a skipping rope, do pogo hops. If you can get outside and skip, four sets of 60 seconds. Yeah, cool. I'll go on to my clock on my phone. And just time yep, no worries. It's all right. All right, everyone Perfect. else is working on acceleration, deceleration. Breather for 30 seconds and get a drink in between. That's good. Good job, guys. Good job, Zach. Remember, take your time with this stuff. It's not a race, guys. Good job, Matty Shacklock. Perfect, mate. Stay down low. Stay down low. Focus on that takeoff. Focus on that takeoff. Good job, Denver. Sharp. Stride it out a little bit more, Jack. Get that back leg a little further back, Jack. Little, that's better, like a full down low. Get your body, think of yourself like a spear. You want, your, you want your back almost to be parallel with the ground. What I mean by that, guys, is what I mean by that is I've seen a lot of people, they might have their leg back like that, but their torso is upright, okay? My body is gonna go where my torso is pointing, okay? My body's gonna follow my head. So if I'm pointing like this at takeoff, then when I take off, I'm gonna stay upright, okay? When we're sprinting, especially when we're taking off, our body needs to be at an angle like this. So we need to bring, keeping our back straight, we bend at the hips and we're more like this. Okay? See how, how pointy I am here? My head's taking me that way. As I take off, that's the way my body's going to go. Once we've done our two sets of three on either leg, so two sets of six, all right, we're going to get into our landings. If you've got something to jump off, that's great. I'm going to wait a second because I can see a few people are still working hard, which is good. I really want to focus on the form of this stuff. All right, this is stuff we don't get the opportunity to really hone in on when we're in the stadium. So that's one of those little silver linings to not being in the stadium right now is we can work on our sprint technique, our jump technique, little things, just little things that when we get back on the court are going to give us an advantage over the competition. Sprint technique, landing, takeoff, all those things. If you've got a box, so uh, ideally if you've got a plyo box, but you probably don't. If you've got a uh, if you've got a step, it has to be sturdy. I don't I don't love the idea of using chairs. Zave, I can see you've got a chair there. I don't know if you're planning on using that. Just be really careful if you are going to use a chair or the couch or something like that. Okay, I, I, I can't really fully sign off on that. So be careful <laughs> if you're using the couch. I don't want parents getting angry at me because you put holes in the couch or anything. You can do our, our box landing without a box, all right? It's okay. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty simple. It has a really, really similar uh, effect. So our box landing, we're going to do two sets of four. What it looks like if we don't have a box. All right, we're up on our tippy toes, arms up overhead, okay? So it's like we're coming down from a, from a rebound or we're coming down, we've attempted a rebound attempted to grab a rebound and we're going to swing our arms through and back, we're up on our tippy toes and we come all the way through into that nice soft landing on the balls of our feet, alright? So we're up high, up as high as we can get without leaving the ground and then we bring our knees up a little bit and we actually 
come off the ground for a split second into that landing. If you've got a box, right, if you've got a box and you want to do and you do want to do a box landing, this is a pretty high box, okay, so I wouldn't expect anyone to do it off of this. If you do have a box, just step off one leg at a time. Okay, so I'm still doing four total, but I'll just step off left foot and right foot twice each. So I'm going to step off left foot here, down into that landing. All right. So you're not jumping off the box. Okay, it's not a it's not a jump off the box forward or anything like that. We're just simply stepping off. I go right foot now, stepping off, down into that nice squat landing. Two sets of four, so four total, not four on either leg. If you're stepping off a box, perfect Denver. Zach, make sure you stick that landing properly, mate. You want feet wide, get rock back into your heels a little bit. We shouldn't just be landing fully on our toes. We should be able to rock back a little bit and get back into the balls of our feet. Good, all the way down to that squat. That's good, Jesse. Good, don't stay up on your toes though, mate. You can rock back into your heels. Good, Matty Shackloff. Clock, jump off that coffee table, mate. Just <laughs> I love it. Well done. Nice and easy. Make sure your knees stay wide and track over your toes. Come right back into that full squat landing. A really good indicator of whether, you're, whether or not you're doing this properly is how loud or how quiet your landing is. Now, for those of you that are on carpet, might be a bit hard to tell. Um, but if you're on a hard floor, you'll be able to tell how loud or how quiet your landing is. Because if you land with your knees already bent, which I can see a couple of you doing, you'll make a lot of noise. It won't even matter if you're on your toes. Okay, you need to rock back into the balls of your feet and you need to bend your knees and hips as you land. So think about momentum. Think about a smooth landing. All right, have a break between sets. Have a break between sets and then we're coming back. So what I mean by smooth landing, <laughs> is if you watch me, I'm going to give you two examples, all right? This first one is, is, is an example of not smooth landing. I'll make heaps of noise even though I'm on my toes. So I step off and my knees are already bent. So as I land, my knees are, there's no movement, all right? Does that make sense? So I land, my knees and hips are already in position, all right? We don't want that. We want to land and actually absorb the impact. So there should be a little bit of movement in our knees and our hips downwards, like a squat. So this one will be quieter. Okay, so we land, and as that landing happens, think of your knees and your hips like a spring. So if you drop a spring, the, the reason why it bounces back up is because it coils down and, and it absorbs the impact and then uses that energy to explode back upwards. All right, moving on. We've got to move on pretty quickly here. We're running out of time. So we're into our squat jump now. All right, our box, our box jump. Again, if you've got a box and you want to jump to a box, great. Otherwise, we're just doing a squat jump. So if you've got a box, really simple, okay? Same movement, arms high, swing it back, just float it up, all right? Then just step backwards carefully off or turn around and step off. If you don't have a box, it's just a squat jump, okay? So we're just swinging arms through, exploding up, and going again. And we're going for we're going for two sets of four. Two sets of four. So go four, 30 seconds to a minute break, and another four. Here we go. Let's go. If you're doing a box jump, step off. It's not continuous. Step back and off. For anyone who's wondering, keeping score at home, that's about a 60 inch box. So I've probably got a 40 inch vertical, just in case anyone was wondering. All right, keep working guys, good job. Great job, Riley. Watch out with that dog, Jack. Now you jump over that dog. I'm done, Joe. All done, Sam? Yeah. Good on yeah, you, mate. Easy. Make sure you get a foam roll, stretch, whatever you need to do. Yeah, of course. We'll Thank you. See you. Next week. Have a good week, mate. Yeah, see you next week. See you, Joe. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's keep working. New Signats doing the 
Box jumps to the couch. <laughs> good job. <laughs> I like it. Good work, guys. It's good. I know it's not ideal. Some of you guys are doing this in your, in your rec rooms, lounge rooms. We love to see it. It's awesome. Finding a solution and everything. So, Zach, we're doing box jumps, mate. We're not stepping off the box. We're either jumping up to the box. That's it. Or we're just doing squat jumps. Good job, Denver. Explode up. Good. Just make sure when you land and when you drive up Denver, those knees stay in line with your toes. Just keep them pointing straight at the camera. Good lad. Music nats, if you're gonna jump up on up, <laughs> if you're gonna jump up onto the couch, you gotta land on the couch on your feet, not on your knees. It's it's the the point of it is not to just jump up there and land. <laughs> it's not a ball pit. Good job. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's get it moving. So broad jumps now. So you're going to need a little bit of space horizontally. So our broad jumps, this is such a fantastic exercise, not just for vertical jump, but for our, our sprint takeoff, because it's almost like a two-legged sprint takeoff. So it's very similar to what I spent time teaching you guys at the start about sprint takeoff being down low, right leg back, right arm forward, and swinging through. But we can do it with both legs at the same time, because you look at this movement here, when I get to here and I'm just about to take off and I push off that way, it's very similar to a, a sprint takeoff, but we get to use both legs at the same time. So it's double your money, all right? So we're doing two sets of four broad jumps, two sets of four. We're exploding out. So again, I start arms high, I swing through and I explode forward. Okay, really trying to stick that landing, okay? If you're comfortable with this movement and you're experienced, that's great. I want you to try and explode as far as you can. If you're less experienced, focus less on exploding out and focus more on your landing. So Maddie, I need you to take a bit more time and care with that takeoff, mate. Attention to detail here, mate. I know you got sprung. So two feet together, two feet take off at the same time. Yep, swing through, swing through. I'm watching Maddie. Come on, mate, there you go. Better, there we go, but try and land. Good boy. Try and land and make sure, make sure you don't fall forward. So remember, if you're falling forward, you're a little bit too upright. You just sit right back. That's better. Good job. Okay, guys, here we go. Two sets of four. Do four. Have about a 20 to 30 second break. We're going to keep moving through these exercises because we're going to finish off with, uh, with some skipping. Get our heart rate up a bit. If you've got a skipping rope and you can get outside and get some space, terrific. So broad jump, two sets of four. Have a breather, 30 seconds in between sets, 30 seconds after sets. Riley, make sure you stick that landing, mate. Good job, excellent guys, keep working. Here we go, good job, Chase. Good job, good Cam. Good job, Denver, swing through all the way forward. Excellent, perfect landing, Denver, good job. So we like to see. Perfect landing. If you've got to sit back, that's good. Swing arms through and back. That's perfect, mate. Perfect. That's textbook broad jump. Good landing. Good job, Zach. Keep working here, guys. Once we've done four, we've done our second set of four. Good job, Zave. Good. Stick that landing nice and soft. So same as our squat jumps or our, our, uh, you know, our, our landing, our box landing, we need to make sure we're not um, making a lot of noise. So again, I can't hear you guys, but it, it's a really good... Uh, indicator of how efficiently you're landing. If your landing is nice and soft and feathery, okay, so think of like a butterfly landing on something, then we know we're doing pretty well. We know we're getting the movement right. We know we're bending our knees and landing softly. So Jesse, I'm still just seeing you staying on your toes, mate. I, I need you to, maybe it's just your shoes because you've got the white heel. I don't know. I just need you to just rock back into the balls of your feet just a little bit. It just looks like you're landing on your toes and staying on your toes. Yeah, they might just be your shoes. Sorry, mate. All right, let's go. So we've got our skater jumps. Two sets of four. Up to you guys. I want one. Set. I want at least one set. Okay. Up to you guys. If you want to do both, I want one set with a stick. Okay. So we take off. There's a stick. There's one. I'm going to come back. There's two. Okay. I'm going to do four on each leg, and then my second set, I can go continuous. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's not a good landing. That's my third. Remember to sit down into your squat, single leg squat. So I don't want to see people landing like this with a stiff leg. That's how we get injured. So attention to detail here. Take off. All right, now I'm going right to left. 
That arm movement, for those that are wondering as well, if I'm on my left leg, again, I've got my right leg back, don't I? So I've got my right leg back off the ground, so I've got my right arm forward. As I take off left foot to right foot, I swing my right arm back and my left arm forward. Now I'm reversing it, so I'm on my right foot. I've got my left, left leg back, so I've got my left arm forward. I swing through and finish with my right arm forward. So I'm on my right leg, left leg's back, left arm's forward. Push off. Good chase. You can't be done two sets, mate. You're going too quick. You're going too quick. Remember, it's not a race. I think you and Zach just like to race. Here we go. All right, so there's my first set done. So everyone should be at least done their first set. And if you're going continuous now, now we can speed it up a little bit. Okay, so now I've had a little breather. Shake my legs out. Shake my legs out. Now I can take off. So now I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's my second set. And again, we're making sure heel, heel doesn't hit the ground. Grab a quick drink and we're into our skipping to finish off. If you've got a skipping rope, terrific. If not, don't stress. We can do pogo hops. I'm in the shed today because I want to do some skipping. I want to show you guys some skipping because it's something that's terrific. You guys can work on if it's a skill that you don't have yet. We're going to teach it a little bit. Who does have a skipping rope? Doesn't look like many do. That's okay. Something you can do in your own time. Denver's got one. Perfect. If you don't have one, we're just into our pogo hops. We're going four sets of 60 seconds. We've got the timer ready. Everyone get in position ready. So pogo hops again. We're just on our toes. So we're not letting our heel strike the ground. We're not letting our heel strike the ground. We're just on our toes. All right. We're going to go in five seconds. If we are skipping, eyes on me. So just little swings of the wrist. Going for a minute. Here we go. Three, two, one. So pogo hops, very similar. Okay, we're on the balls of our feet. But if we're skipping, it's just a little rotation of our wrist. Just a nice smooth rotation of our wrists. We stay on the balls of our feet. We're just, again, reducing that ground impact time. So we're just bouncing up. Just a little hop. We're not jumping as high as we can. The big thing about skipping is timing. Timing. So swinging that rope, getting in a nice rhythm. If you guys are pogo hopping, that's okay as well. You can imagine you've got the rope. Oh, we've got about 10 seconds. We're going to have a 30 second break. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest. So, skipping, obviously terrific for basketball athletes, strengthening those muscles of our calves, getting a little bit of ground impact in, okay, because we're not doing a lot of jumping and landing and things like that like we usually would be at the moment. It's also great cardio, okay? So five to 10 minutes of skipping. We build that into our programs or we build that into whatever session we're doing. You'll see the benefits pretty shortly. All right, second set. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go, stay bouncing. So again. I'm speeding up my skips a little bit. Okay, so see how I'm not moving my elbows. So I'm not swinging my arms right around. Sometimes when people first start out, they want to swing their arms right around. It's just a little wrist movement. Just a little wrist movement. Let the rope do the work. So if you swing in there, just rotating the handle a little bit, makes the whole rope swing. Here you go. Keep working, we've got about 15, 20 seconds. Keep working. Stay on your toes. 10 seconds, here we go. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Here we go, let's get some cardio in. Three, two, one. Good job. Have a breather, we've got two sets to go. Okay, we can mix it up. You can even go on the jog with your skipping. I'm just you guys are resting, I'm just demonstrating. 
Okay, we're we'll getting the foot. That's a good one. We can get a little jog going. So it's like one foot in the other. Some swapping legs. Okay, that's a little bit advanced. All right, but if you've done plenty of skipping, you can do that for a minute. All right, the skipping rope is just another really good tool to get used to using. All right, here we go for our third set. We're nearly done, guys. Quick warm down and you guys will get ready for school. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go. Again, little wrist movements, swapping feet. So I'm just very, I'm just sitting up this slightly right now. So I've just got a little, just got a little one foot and then the other, keep my resistance band behind me. So I'm just rotating my feet, my balls on my feet. Ooh. Not a good round. Keep working. Keep working. Here we go. Little wrist movements. Gentle wrist movements. Here we go. About 30 seconds. Keep working. Stay on the balls of your feet. Balls of your feet. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. We've got one set to go. Keep working hard. Good job. Little gentle swings. Three, two, one. Good job. Last rest. Grab a drink if you need it. Last rest. We're pushing out to finish off. Whew. Here we go. Last set. So next week, if everyone can try and get a skipping rope, we'll always finish off with some skipping now. If not, start with some skipping as well. Three, two, one. Here we go, last set. Speed it up a little bit. Speed it up a little bit, quick hops. Don't bring your knees up, Zach. Don't bring your knees up. Again, that's just gonna hurt your timing. Just bouncing on your toes. Just little jumps on your toes. Little bit of swings. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Speed it up. Little bug up, speed it up. Good job, good job, good job, good job. 20 seconds. You work, so the ball to your feet. I see you all working, keep going. 10 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one, good job. Rope away. Good work, guys. Gonna do a little standing stretch today because we've run a little bit over time. I'm gonna twist this camera around. Use the uh, garage door, the shed door. Couple of leg swings. Jared, I gotta go to school. No worries. If anyone has to go, just go. Thanks, see ya. See you guys. Great work. Leg swings. Five forward and back on each leg. Five forward and back on each leg. Nice, gentle. Slow the heart rate down. Forward and back, five on each leg. Look what you guys did. You guys wore Luna out. Luna's bugger. Don't you, Luna? Forward and back, nice and gentle. Warming up that hip, and we can go across our body for five. So facing the wall, cross our body for five. Swing across. And to finish off, we're just gonna do a quick calf pump. So when I say calf pump, got a little bit confused with these yesterday in hoops fit. What I mean by that is you're actually, you're in the, you're in the Position where you're pushing the wall over. You are pushing the wall over, but you've got both feet back. So you've got both feet back and you're pumping one leg at a time. So you're pushing one heel down at a time. So it's like a little bend your knee. So you're bending one knee at a time and you're sort of pedaling those feet back and forth. That's it. Good job. All right. 
Once we've done that, we're all finished for today, guys. Great session, great work. Enjoy your day, enjoy your week. Remember, we've got heaps of sessions again this week, tomorrow, or tonight, girls only. Courtney Wilkins, tonight, if you want to jump in and do uh, girls only, train with me. She's going to do some ball handling and some footwork and some cardio. Uh, tomorrow night, we've got a, another strength and conditioning, more of a strength focus. Wednesday, hoops fit with Cassie. Uh, Thursday with me again. And then Friday in the morning with me, we've got body and mind. And then we've got train with me this week with Saray Taylor. So two of our superstar NBL1 women's players taking sessions this week for us. So uh, good job, guys. Keep working hard. Keep working hard. Control what you can control. See you guys. Thanks, Jared. No Thank worries. you. See you guys. Have a good day. See you, Zave.